Welcome back, everybody. Man, it's been a while. I mean, uh, I've been so busy, but enough about that. I want to say thank you, Salmon, for that comment. That really helps, dude. I'm really much looking forward to the high road that the end road is. <laughs> Whatever, man. But the journey, yeah. I'm looking forward to it, man. It's also made me, like, really think about trying out the other opuses if it's very similar in a fashion. Though plot and story can be, like, completely different due to how the style of it changes every single time. And that, that's what I like about it, too. To where, like, it grows in art or different select selected art. There's, just, there's so much to cover, but I really would like to get back into this. I was having, I was having issues with my inputs for somehow raising the PlayStation and generic gamepad. Okay, okay, enough about this. Okay, let's get back into this. Hopefully everything sounds good. There's noise suppression. There's noise limiter, so it won't peak your ears. And I hope everything works out. It especially sounds really, really good and a little bit more clear because this mic's. Calibration? I can't remember what that word is, but it's basically where the specific point of radius of where my microphone records myself. So like if I were to speak a little bit closer, because that's where it's mainly recording me, I would sound like this and I would sound a whole lot more clear and the quality of it would be like really really good. But I can't do that because it's literally in front of my desk and I literally have to put my head down every single time. So I can't do that. I gotta play this relaxed. My face is already hurting from talking this much. I did not sleep. <laughs> yes, I did not sleep. I've been putting together a special video. It was a Monster Hunter, but it was something else. Especially with a recent update to it. A certain Yellowstone Park. <laughs> I'm not going to say anymore. But yes, let's get into it. I missed you, man. I say I'm excited for the ending, but I know I'm not. I really am not. How long has it been? I'm gonna milk it. I'm gonna do a second playthrough, I swear. I swear to you guys. <laughs> I just love this game. Um, uh, a little rerun while we were doing a little loading screen right there. We basically finished up the chapter and we had returned to old June when he was walking and then he had to take a rest and to reminisce it once more due to the lumen affecting his memories, I would believe. But then again, he can also reflect on it on his own. But to an extent, it has very, very special properties of doing this like what we're currently doing right now those numbers are going crazy right now and i believe we were actually really close to this star star ignis and we almost got cooked which is where remy says return to guifang for resupplies you guys nuts red chambers was almost cooked what it'll be fine oh we got messages too four beep lumen association Re lumen mining application process. Thank you. Thanks so much for your help. Dear Red Chamber crew, whoever wishes to register must have the following information as well as register at the Iron Wind Cave Verification Bureau. Cave location data, perfect SAR song from the cave, Lumen Association ID expired. The cave must be in legal airspace. Please note the number of caves that are designated to the Red Chamber exceeds the limit allowed by the law, so the application may take longer than usual. If you like, we could have we could open a special case for Red Chamber. Phelan, Lumen Association Cave Development Office. Message. Okay. But this is a reply. No, that's actually still there. Part of number 3041. Applicant, Red Chamber Crew, your application is currently being processed by the association's lawyers. Details, 
02 Lumen, Ziggurat, Red Chamber discovered in 8534 in the process of applying for a preservation under the Lumen Association. Oh, I forgot to mention. I raised the audio as well because one thing I have noticed is that... Nah, I'm talking too much. I, I, I just raised the audio, so yeah. Hopefully it's a whole lot better and you guys can hear everything that I do. Just for a little reference though. The audio is around 85 the game. Zero 03 Lumen Cave Red Chamber discovered in 8534. The process of applying for pers preservation under the Lumen Association. 04 Lumen Cave Red Chamber discovered in 8535. Iron Wind Cave Verification Bureau first round audit has passed. Please make sure to preserve this letter and case code for verification purposes. The Lumen Association fully complies with the Lumen Mining Act and is the only organization in Thousand Peaks that can legally register civilian caves. The nostalgia. I'm literally taking everything back in again. It's been so long. I really was busy. I'm, I'm not lying to you guys. I really was super, super busy. And I could not, could not upload. There was a problem with the Monster Hunter stories to upload. And I, it'll be in the description. Just be careful with that one, okay guys? That was before I can actually do this. Iron Wind Immigration. Letter of Gratitude from Iron Wind Immigration Convoy. Dear Red Chamber Crew, This is Tara. Tar. Tau. Tau R. How can I pronounce this? I never pronounce this like this. Tau. I would like to say Tau. But I, I honestly 100% know I'm getting this wrong. Crew leader for Iron Wind Immigration Convoy, NO328. Thanks to the help of the Red Chamber crew, the lives of all 1,372 passengers aboard the immigration vessels were saved. Oh, was it the guys I actually traded with? It was in the Caprios. They gave me a cave. The immigrants. I led. Yes, okay, okay. I pray that the flame hammer continues to illuminate your journey. Thank you. Sandman. I get what you did there. I get what you did with the journey part. <laughs> it's been that long. <laughs> we wish you smooth running. May fire and iron light the stars. That's the time. Thank you. Edo. This is her reply. Dear lead, this is not her reply. This is actually sent to her directly. Dear lead of the Red Chamber crew, Adaloon Grant. It's been one year since you joined. You joined the association. Your excavation permit has been renowned as of today. Please preserve the attached electronic certificate. The Lumen Association fully complies with the Lumen Mining Act and is the only organization in Thousand Peaks that can legally register civilian cases. Honorable Runners Award. It's like a... It's like a YouTube thing. <laughs> Among all the memories of my journey, this was the most meaningless. Okay. Given all the invaluable ruins that the Red Chamber crew has uncovered in Thousand Peaks, we hereby confer its crews crew with this award and a level 1 excavation permit to thank them for their contribution. Ada, Remy, June, 8534, Galactic Calendar. Then I think about it, a lot of people, a lot of people see sort of YouTube buttons as that sort of way because it doesn't really make them who they are. It's very nice. Where are we going? We're going to Guafang. It's right over here. Mm -hmm. Fuel cost three. We have nine. Everything seems like we like the same. Let's go visit a doctor. Teenage Ada. Ada. Mata o kite kita no ka. I've been really debating about reading over the ones that they talk. I'm not gonna do that. 
I'm going to let them talk instead. If they're talking, they're talking. また夢であの声が。one second, I gotta turn off my light. Okay. Hi. She doesn't look too good. That's why. Wakata, Wakata. もう眠りなさい。Hey, Do. Don't look sad. Come on. Sorry. But I'm going to wake up soon. また寝ちゃってた。たくさん資料を読んでいるから仕方がないことさ。高連軍部から聖雷村起動付近の流脈探査要請が来てるけど。パス。これ教会を通さないで。軍が直接巫女に業務委託したいみたい。スケジュール。返信お願い。捜索番号04423。くず白れない。情報がいただけない限り、返信はないものと考えたし。Is I thought it was the location for like a cave, but no, they wouldn't start with Corey. There's like a hashtag number and the number code is like an ID. So that is a person. じゃあ無視しておくよ。ミコ養成に使われるのが見えてる。マンド食流紹介からも養成来てる。この前やったばかりじゃない。有脈協会は再度拒否したら今後の斡旋はしないって何それ脅し何それ脅しそりゃ10個も案件を断ればね怒るのも無理はないむしろ感謝されたりないくらいだって また電池切れうん多分最近歌いすぎかな少し休んだ方がいい。Let's no, they they sped it up. They probably won't even tell us. I'm just gonna assume from last. No, those were like short batteries. They weren't gonna last for a while. I'm taking too much into this. Hmm. The 
push yourself. Okay, you heard that. I'm sorry, that was a car passing by. I thought the noise suppression was pretty good. But uh, let me raise it for a second. One second. <sighs> Fucking cars. Wait, no, it's still. Uh, sorry. That's the button. Okay, I. Pr I pressed record again. <laughs> it's been too long. This is evidence. I'm sorry. Sorry for the swears. I get really ticked off because of the cars. He's looking at you, Ada. And he looked away, Ada. <laughs> Don't start like this, come on. I can move? Oh, nice green apparently. It's close to the door, I don't want to do that. I can probably interact. What is this? Which star song of Ignis? That was the sun. The sun of every planetary system has its own unique star song. At the time of our exile, case. Let's make it a little closer. Kay searched among the different stars and asked me to choose where we would go. The equipment used to record the star song from Thousand Peaks was old and the sound quality wasn't good, so I don't know why I cried the first time I heard it. That strong sense of longing was why I chose it as our destination. Where's the peace, Kay? I like Kaito though. I like both. <laughs> One more time. One more time. Jesai, Kono Ninan de Kazo Okuno Dumiako Hakin Shikta. A Sorry, I'm checking that in. She actually told someone. Because we normally like get a lot of flashbacks. But this was right after she woke up too. Mata onajiume. He knows? Alright then. Third wheel all the time. Sad faces.流脈を中心として経済を発展させてきた。ほとんどの人が反省を流脈探査と流名の収集に費やす。そして誰もが唯一無二の自分だけの流脈を探し出すことを夢見てる。or the phrase resting place, which is not good and not bad at the same time, but it just hit home. Ada got夢の中で聞いたその歌声。きっと流脈の道引きだ。うん。私英会心じゃないし。It doesn't seem like it matters, though. 僕が言いたかったのはその歌声は。君にとって重要なものなんじゃないかってこと。うん。僕だって3階に来たのは偶然なんかじゃない。
カイトはあの時いくつか太陽系の歌声を聞かせて選ばせてくれたんだけど3階の歌声だけが耳に残ったはいはいそれでだから君に出会えた My boy smooth <laughs> Why is he always smooth, bro? Come on. Dang, she's not gonna say anything. I hope you guys are looking at each other. Does she say something different? Anosa, each is okay, no, he told her, and the cutter. Told the night. Kino almost sort of key to you, eh? No, I really hope. That whatever I ignored by those、uh, books isn't something important, but I have a feeling it might kind of progress a little bit too fast, so I want them to keep talking. I don't know, I don't know about this, but I just got a feeling. But it's not a strong yes. Shinpai Schneider. Then then Len Lock to the Nike or so. I don't think it's them that needs to contact you. Ada no Shisho Sanga meets Karma de Goi Shoshimas. Those words are really nice to hear, though. Map of our adventures. In those few years with Ada, we marked out all the caves we had explored on this star map. By Tai Yang's mercy, I thank Lumen every day for bringing me to her. Not a day passes that I don't miss the time we spent together. <sighs> so many, so many recollections. Okay.、Mm. I remember that one place. To where it was like a shrine, and I believe I was trying to get a prayer and I was asking Tai Yang himself. I don't think it was Tai Yang, maybe Helios? About entering the shrine, but then they didn't respond, and then June said that maybe his fate wasn't strong enough. Maybe that's it. Okay, I'm not gonna try to interact with this. It might be memories. Yep, okay. Bleak clan family tree. June's luck plus six, unstackable. A general genial. I would say general. Genealogy, genealogy of the Li clan, which records several Tai Yang solar flare storms that occurred over the generations and the children that were born during them. Since I was born during one of these storms, my mother had great hopes for me and believed that the soul of Tai Yang was within me. Now、that's quite the pressure. But after my mother died, no one else ever brought it up. This always has. Always picks me up and knocks me down. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good to be back.、I'm、trying to see if there's anything else I can interact with. The bed. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Huh? None of them are not. She wouldn't have any to go. I don't know. Send my sushi. That's a nice intercom. It's not like a loud beep. Hi, Tsugi. Remy. You got better quarters now. Is this still the. No, this is. Upgrades, people, upgrades. Kyoka Yori, Koren, a Chicago, Daikimon, a Lumak Tansa Katsdo, has met a moyo. You hear that? No, it's fading. No, come back, man. 
高連空域に入る場合は注意し認可場所でのみ探査を行うこと It's good and bad that we're actually working with the side of a military but I really don't like this But situations circumstances and yeah もう全部あげちゃえばいいのに私たち民間探査車はどこに行けばいいのよはい次緊急通知フロムラッセルドクドクターシャオ親愛なる高炉戦隊へ国流に関する情報を入手したあっあっバンチー、Wait, where did I remember that before? I can't sit just there. Okay. Maybe she'll tell me. Remy? Is she gonna repeat? Yeah, she's. <laughs> oh man, this long, dark style. I love it! I miss it! Sorry. <laughs> Ada's master? Banshee? Is that, am I correct? Three standard years ago. 7回目の流脈探査爆破済みの廃棄流脈未上陸 This is past, Remy. 8回目マフィアの基地だった未上陸9回目高連女優流脈で逮捕寸前だった That's why she didn't seem overly concerned. No, she was concerned about the cave, but she seemed like she had experience with it in the very first mission with the Bones Brigade. She was with Ada as well. 14回目流脈強心機のご判断もういいもういいどうせ私はポンコツミコ流脈を探すなんてそもそもまたお姉さま,まだ3階に来て1年経っただけよもう1年経ったのよ流脈協会は加入させてくれないし高連は死んだように落とさたがないしやっぱりお師匠を探すのは無理I was gonna say something really wild about like, wow, there are other people searching for banshees as well. I was like, of course they are. Onesama! Kikai ni tayora nai to koe mo dase nai watashi no kimochi nante. Wakara nai yo ne. ふん。流脈狂神器起動。外。増幅器起動。やめなさい。普通の人が使ったら神経の負担に耐えられないから。神経系システム接続。手を離して。何がしたいの。私に何ができるのか歌いたくないなら私が代わりに歌うしかないじゃんバカねこれはあなたの問題じゃないでしょ絶対に見つかるもん龍脈協会にだって入れる功労もアップグレードできる
俺の行動感性も解かれる国竜の情報だって手に入るもうやめてそしてお師匠と一緒に帰る出発前に言ったよねどんなことが起こっても私なら分かったから私歌うから私たちならできる何泣いてるのよ泣いてないし。回線を開いてチャンネル002にエーダに接続お姉さま聞こえる大大大ニュースよあれいないまたリバクのところか<笑>コーロリバクの通信記録を開示ちょっと待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待ってやっぱねパケット分析するっきゃないかコーロ最近のネットワーク通信のデータを見せてロード中うっく何この数一つ一つ見てたらキリないじゃん This is what... He and Ada was working on too. もしリバクの使ってる装置の認証番号が分かれば記録も抜ける This music is very tense and I have a feeling that I'm doing this myself Okay, match it to the records to find which ones are his あそういえば前に一通来てたこれで解析できるねコロリバクから来た一番新しいメールをチェックして It's good to have a reference. Crew member. このメール見るだけでイラつくクルーメンバーシップフィーレセンダー・ジューンレシーバー・レミー You're late! Time to pay up! I inquired Ada about the membership fee and was told there was no such thing You are a person of honor. Perhaps there is a misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah, so go to Nakte. What does she got me to make in on a Tashka, a reke no sochi no ninsho kiwa. Then let's yon set to got zero 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 no. Ushiro no moji hatch set to. There are four rows. The eight digits right after the fourth. So if I look closely, so this here's four, eight digits. Depending if this is correctly, so eight digits. Four, four. That would be zero. Okay, that's what she's referring to, so that's zero, zero. Let's find it. Oh, oh, missed. Tashka, the key is 
全列4セットが0000の後ろの文字8セット。Right, right, Okay, I thought that was a zero zero. The eight digits right after the fourth. Okay, so the first row will be the eight digits. We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> first row is gonna be the eight digits, and it's after the fourth. So then just over, I was just right over here. Okay. Hmm. I was very, very much doubting myself. Silly, I didn't. Six one six E seven three seventy two. Let me try to remember that. Clipboard? Is that a clipboard in the system? Yes. Control F, Remy. Control F. Oh, wait, hold on. Six, six, Let me see if I can actually see before she gets it. 61E. Okay, so it's the fourth row. 011602. Should match the first few digits, yep. Again? Mm hmm. Okay. Remy's intercepted communication records in June and Ada. Time. Reference. Ada. I'll stop by later. June. If you come over too often, Remy is going to get mad sooner or later. <laughs> you know, at first I was like, why is she screaming? But then I read it again in my head. I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's exactly what I said earlier. She's gonna miss under. Nani kore? Nani kore? Naruhodo. Ano gaki? PC gakugawa ni oritai. Ah, ah, shoto matte. Hmm? Hotchi no tsushin kiroku te. Let's see this through. Dosta Damia Sagaster, die new set. Soka Joy, so it's a hoga. Eh, he was probably just fiddling around with her vocal things. <laughs> you guys got dirty minds. Dirty, all of you, the lot of you. <laughs> I don't like that look. Tosho sama. Mo nan nemo renlak shite wari masen ne. Mina sama o genki de shou ka. Koko su nen. This is what Remy is intercepting. Newfound caves for the clan. Over the past few years. I many people will not agree with the first one. Many unexpected things have happened. You have to be completely honest. So Sound like this. Wait, no, if I give too much. No, wait. This may play a part later. Even though it seems like everything's set in stone. Because here, here's my train of thought to where, like, he will basically be headstrong. Attempt to reassure his people and not recall on anybody for assistance or 
the assistance that he has been getting, especially from Remy and Ada after K. But if he goes telling if he goes telling the truth, that's literally putting a hit on her too. No matter what shame you face, I will always value, no, he should always value those around him. There's, that, ref that refers to like the many instances, I think I remember when it was like um, the media and they needed a witch to do a role. But then when I didn't let June do it, Ada was in silence and more than likely hurt because of what I chose for her because it was a role of a bad witch. And that completely sucks because she was like really really excited too. The person who asked her to do it was really really excited and it was just really really offensive. I like more than likely intentionally as well. So I am not going to tell the clan masters who sent a killer after June in the very first place that killed Kay as well. No, I will not tell you, Shen Li, clan master. No, I will not tell you. These rights will grant the clan access to a wealth of resources, so take it. This is not really convincing, but honestly, I will feel a whole lot better doing it this way. I will not run away from my responsibilities. That's a little bit more convincing. <sighs> Over the past years, many unexpected things have happened beyond my greatest expectations. I have accumulated partial rights to a large number of caves. Should you need me, I am at your call. These rights will grant the clan access to a wealth of resources. I will not run from my responsibilities. And if anybody were to actually see this message as well, they would be like, why did you not send it? If you will not run away from your responsibilities, it's your responsibility to send this message. But then Remy is watching. And regardless, she would still suspect June. Even though it doesn't, I really hope it doesn't turn out that way. <sighs> Please don't backstabbings. I'm sitting on this for a while. I may be a oceaner. Was it a peaky oceaner? Peaky blinders. Peaky oceaners. <laughs> Fleeker oceaner. I don't know. I don't remember. But, um... No. I don't know who you can trust over there in your own clan after this whole situation. There are a few people, but... No high hopes, June. No high hopes. Never mind. Save it for later. Exactly. Subject Newfound Caves for the Clan. Sender June, Receiver Shen Li, Clan Master. Content over the past few years. Many unexpected things have happened. Beyond my greatest expectations, I have accumulated partial rights to- Wait, no. That still sounds bad! 
I have accumulated it, and I never... <sighs> There's no way around it, but this, to me, this sounds a whole lot better. And not just direct of saying, like, I just did all the work myself. I've accumulated partial rights to a large number of caves. Should you need me, I am at your call. That sounds very suspicious, but I can't avoid it. These rights will grant the clan access to a wealth of resources. I feel like a double agent. Well, look, look, look at that. I will not run away from my responsibilities. I feel even more. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! Journey my butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, okay, not 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 to think about it. Remy's not that type. Remy is not that type. I can't let Eddie see this. Delete it. Don't delete it. Save it for later. We are at Gulafang. Did anything change? Now I look at it. There's no way this was good. I must be going crazy. We must have moved. Oh. No, I already read that. The War Relief Foundation. Uh, most of the Gulafang residents were crippled. Veterans who were abandoned after the war. So the foundation had nowhere to go. They hated outsiders. Those that look for Lumen. And they're the ones that started the damn war. Different but I just want to check. Yep, you're here again. Whoa, orphanage. Let me hold this place. I can't even say that word right. Give me a fucking branch. Doctor! Doctor! <laughs> Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. <laughs> Did the association really find Banshee, Doctor? What do you think, Big Shot? Let me get a little closer. Are you trying to get in trouble by turning down every request? You have a special mission this time. But first, we're going to the headquarters in Mount Aura. Headquarters? Don't interrupt me. The free city of Mount Aura is where the Lumen Association was founded. The Council of Ten has request requested to see you. I also have some business there. We can go together. What? Am I not allowed to board the ship I used to work on? No. You can't believe that your search for Red is coming to an end. It's just all very sudden. I never thought that I actually have a chance to find her. Is that so? Neither did I. I hope you'll be able to move on with your life. You no longer have to chase her. Obtain coordinates. Mount Aura. Or now that I think about it, that's not Aura. Aurora. Aurora. Not Aura. Aurora. Yeah, there you go. After I return home, I often wonder if things would have been different had I noticed that Ada was subconsciously avoiding Banshee. You're looking for her, but you're also avoiding her. That's very interesting. I'm not trying to sound cast sarcastic, but whoa, Doctor, your head! Look at that! Whoa! I found the space rock. You want to take a hit? <laughs> Stay out of trouble, will you? What do you want? Supplies. I want supplies. I'm pressing the button. So I want fuel. 
think this actually left out where I actually left the supplies off too. Yeah, the cash is the same too. Yeah, we must have been really busy. Uh, I feel sleepy. No. You wanna pick up some more? I'll charge you fourteen hundred for fourteen of them. Yes, ma'am. Find a boat. Armor's pretty good. Expiration kits are good too. I do not need this. What do you want? I want to sell stuff if I can. Yep, scrap alloy greenhouse bones. Look at the money makers. I have that much of this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Greenhouse bonus, three out of this. Oh yeah. What do you want? I want to give you a hug. I really do. Uh, we should be fine with the expiration kits. It doesn't really seem like we... The areas where I'm at, even though it may look like the, they change from griefing areas, I may be able to look around in old areas to... Yep, I'll take some of those, max it out. A hug. Alright, coordinates. Messages received. Personnel transfer lo notification. It is urgent. I don't want to get too close to this, but I just want to make it really, really, really clear. ASMR style, guys. Formerly head of the association's Guifang branch, Rochelle Moore has been promoted to the position of executive secretary general for her help in resolving cave issues between the United Mining and the people. I cannot do this without water. I will be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Uh, this is the pause button. No, I'll just read it. She will now be responsible for operational management, intel development, and cave expansions for all caves in the Thousand Peaks region. The above position transfer is effective immediately. Let's read Ada's first. Riri, found info on Banshee. Got some Banshee info. Come back to Guafang ASAP. Um, that's Ada saying that to Rochelle, okay. No. Eddie. Eddie's too busy to check her messages, but we're on the move. We'll head back immediately. Tell her to stop caring about the Oceaner boy so much. Dr. Rochelle, Lumen Association, Executive Secretary. Wow. Wow, that is a lot. <sighs> Executive Secretary General. I like Dr. Morris, ma'am. Re about the East Ocean or Klee Clan. I want to read this first. <laughs> How is it in the military? Really have to hear you're back in the service and giving back to society. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Yeah, life in the service is like clockwork. Sleep early, get up early, three hot meals a day. You're one annoying brat, you know that. They I wanna try voice acting with this. 
They gave me a little crew here at United. There's some dodgy noble who act all pompous and crap. Reminds me of you. Good thing he's not from East Ocean or I'd give him a good beating. Anyway, I've been pretty busy recently since the security clearance for this mission is the highest possible. I can't use standard communications during the operation. Next time I contact you, it'll be about half a standard a year later. You take care, Lawrence White. Is that a sexual name? Ah, that hurts my face when I do that. Before I take a step. Sorry for that strange noise. Okay. About the East Ocean Leaf Clan report. That's what Remy sent to her. If you're willing to help, I would be extremely grateful. Noble, if you want to research if you want to research your family, do it yourself. Don't go through the Lumen Association. No, this is June sending it to Rochelle, okay. And if you're going to leave, do it quick and don't bring Ida in Ada into this. Mm -hmm. Rochelle. I have new coordinates. Hurry up, don't you know where Mount Aurora is? If this intel and banshees come from the Council of Ten, there's a good chance it'll lead us to Red. Okay. What am I speaking to? to clarity. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna back up. Hmm. There's three, two. This one make a difference. There's an abnormal signal right there. Okay, this, this is a trading post. Maker. It's abandoned too. What was in Mayfair? Wasn't this like the very first thing I could explore before I hit Goofang? Hmm. Do I need those? It's the recording. Yep, almost an hour. Uh. Yes, I do. Hmm. I do need those. Please. Oops. Sorry. Let's do that again. Broken communication models. Looks like we have enough materials to upgrade the ship. Mm hmm. The ship. Ship. Uh, navigator accelerator. Locating our destination will be much faster with this. It's very gross when I do that. Oh, look at that. Crosshair speed increase. this? Oh, it doesn't tell us. So cool. Advanced United Mining Sensor. Advanced United Mining Electronic Components. And there are damaged lumen plates. Hmm. I'm extremely curious of the Bones Brigade, but I want to see what's over here. What they offer now. So it's nice. We're visiting older areas to like see what newer materials they offer. Luminant Charn. I got some fuel. Same thing. One time. It's good stuff. Fuel. Heck yeah, we just got stocked up. Okay, that was really, really nice. I was about to say, it didn't really seem like the Great Benjamin was going to have anything besides fuel. There's an abnormal signal there. I'm going to do a little jump in between. Signal's coming from an untrusted network service provider. Must be...
On second thought, that is really, really good. I remember the first time I passed this up, but the second time I actually took it up, and I actually met another witch. Well, they were now on too. Broadcasting. And then they let Ada song. This looks really high tech. For an exile, the opaque nature of the Thousand Peaks Rabbit Hole Communication Network is the safest protection against being protracted. Attract. Being tracked. Sorry. This. Wow. Dilapidated. Wow, that's actually lazier than I thought it would be. Workstation was full of discharged communications veterans. Familiar as they were with official signals, they broadcast news of Thousand Peaks using distrib distributed encryptions. Maybe their field of work explains why they didn't talk much. However, if you brought up the latest news, they were surprisingly enthusiastic. Good conversation. I like these people. They keep them. They keep them themselves. What are we doing here? I should be focusing on my master. You. I recognize. Oh shit. You. I recognize that voice. You're the witch. Oh no. No, no, no. Her face scared me, bro. She scared me. Because there was another lady that looked completely different than her, but since it's been so long, she had such a menacing look towards me. Yeah. By the song of the stars. Persidio. Per, 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 I said this before. Parsidia, no, Parsidia, that might be Parsidia, Parsidia. Oh, I hate that I'm butchering that. Parsidia moves. You got a lot of fans, you know. Want to give it another shot? Not up for it. With the whole crew sings with you. I'll even arrange a special program just for you. Oh jeez. Yeah. This won't do us any good. Let's go. Let's see how the crew sounds. Remy is always listening to me sing. How about we have her join? <laughs> now that I remember, there was that one guy that really liked Remy too. If he hears her sing over the broadcast, will he send her a message? <laughs> Remy's always oh, yep yeah I can't pass this up. <laughs> Remy didn't really want to sing, but she did it for Ada. I was so used to Remy shouting and screaming that I was shocked to hear her how beautiful her voice was. She sang softly, but it was full of feeling, harmonized with Ada perfectly. <laughs> These guys are nice. Okay. Bones Brigade. This may be abandoned. Here we go. Okay. Um, I guess not. Uh, past that point. Oh, this is a trade transfer station. Luminous Association, Fortune 9. We're gonna need the fuel. Oh, exploration kits too. It's been a while since... It's been a while since the last time I was here. When I met June. Why isn't Remy here yet? Is he... Is she still going through docking procedures? Hey, where did all these people come from? I think they're going to be some sort of performance, an opera called Melody of Star Song, or something like that. I heard this is real. Local Thousand Peakers, Peaks, culture, right? Should we try to get a seat? Helios and Terra love story. She's blushing. So awkward. Should I? Yes. Wait.
I don't want to leave Remy out of this, but... We just started, and now I'm feeling reluctant to do this. This is... <sighs> Being in a relationship is good, but I I do not know what will happen to Remy You're fighting your head and you're fighting your heart. Wow. I like how there's no music to this. It's just my decision of this. I really want them to. I'm overthinking this a lot. Okay. Let's go. Melody and Star Song was a love story through and through, and it made me a little uncomfortable. I was surprised to see Ada fully engaged. I never knew that she liked love stories. Oh, there's multiple acts. Melody of Star Song is an opera about a love between two gods written by the Rodin family after years of gathering arche archaeological research. The first act describes the birth of Helios from the fires of Ignis and how he was ordered to wash the peaks from the void, drifting aimlessly for millennia, tormented and alone. One day he was drawn in by a mysterious voice. Where there is song, you shall find me. Terra, one of the gods, gazed at Helios from afar, hoping to save him with her song. Eventually, he came down from the heavens, for her, and they fell in love, establishing the Myron Empire. Hmm. Hmm. Coincidence. This is a trade transfer station too. My grand bazaar. Hey, Andre, I'll just read this. Fortune 9 was an up and coming trading hub that served as the transition point between the restricted area and the asteroid belt. Even though it was hard to trust the traders around here, Lumen Intel was primarily product for sale. That's one of the reasons Kay and I came here to investigate Lumen. You're the Red Chamber crew, right? Better watch out. Crime rate in Fortune 9 is at all-time high. Hey, I heard you guys busted a pirate operation at, my, at the Migrant... Migrant's Bazaar back then. You should come share your experience with us, once we have the budget to pay for your time, of course. Oh, Capri... 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 Barra. I pull up. <laughs> Okay, I pull up. No, stop singing. Stop singing. Stop singing. Okay, Ignis above the red chamber crew. I finally found you. I could get a space station for this, but I need the cash. Alas, such opportunities are better left for a great runners like you. You ever heard of the ominous star song, <coughs> Banshee? What? Did you say Banshee? You just said Banshee, right? Ada is way too excited, and the price is ridiculous. What should I do? <laughs> what? Just because you see a capybara, you think they're all the same? <laughs> hmm. 
no. Oh, no, no, no. There are 67 members in Capri Barra Merchant Society. Whoever that was, it was either my friend or my friend's friend. He started backing away. <laughs> He started backing away as he spoke, and before I could ask any more questions, he was gone. Not to sound really offensive, though, in the very beginning of the start, even though I didn't talk at all. I gotta say, I thought that was a female. Well, it, it was like a female VA speaking for the first Captain Bera. And I thought it was a female. But then they revealed that it was a guy. My mind blanked. But, yeah. And it surprised me, but that was pretty much it. Okay. Yeah, back away, buddy. Back away. Come on, Ada. You know better. I'm sure you get better luck. No. Can you start a new game with all your items? That would be pretty sucky if it does, but it would be kind of slightly nice, I guess. In cooperation with the United Mining, the Lumen Association was set up in the 18th and final year of the Lumen War to resolve disputes regarding mining rights. A system was put in place to resolve conflicts and give intel brokers legal standing with the goal of maintaining stability in Thousand Peaks. Excuse me. And preventing further bloodshed. This is a licensed operation under the Lumen Mining Act. What can I do for you, Runner? Uh, I would like to sell a couple of these goods. Get the coins. I need. Whoa. I definitely need that. It's a good thing I did not take that offer, Capri Barra. You're not to be trusted. <sighs> no. Probably saved. I should have gone here first if I knew. I forgot. I should have gone here first. Sorry, guys. Hey, maybe in the second playthrough. I'm definitely gonna do one. It includes 270 commonly seen lumen plants, highly recommended by the Lumen Association. Besides visuals and plant descriptions, it also provides various common and medical uses, great for experienced and novice users alike. At the time, I didn't understand why Red Chamber had a greenhouse, or where Ada's passion for flowers came from. Hmm. Oh, tunes. 500. This is all worth it, too. Written by the Asteroid Belt adventurer James Wong, most of the source materials come from Helia's inscriptions uncovered in Myron remains. Yeah. Oh, more text. This text primarily describes how Helios and the other gods work together to build the Lumen Empire. Helios is known as the de deity who created the Myron Empire. He fought against the omnipotent Ignis for the good of the gods, and this roman romantic nature made him beloved by adventurers and scientists alike. As such, he's believed to represent the pursuit of progress. That's actually really nice. Hmm. Oh wait, directions. And then this is the material that we might actually need. Secondhand Lumen Intel. Unfortunately, we are unable to provide refunds. Buyer beware. It's just 300. We could take hits too. Okay. Lumen Intel brought back, bought on the black market usually just led to caves that Harry didn't explore, and there was always a risk of being ambushed by pirates. It's kind of, no, it was smugglers, not pirates. Never fear of getting snatched by United Money again. Anti rust, anti rot treatments make it easy to keep clean. Check for trash, mountain seal of authenticity before purchasing. Where's the little stickers? Well, let me look at that little upgrade thing, see if we actually need that. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, that seems like it's gonna be it. More coordinates. Unknown cave. If we ever go to the right, we're checking it out. But right now, it's a no. And I forgot to pick up more exploration kits because there's two signals. 
Three signals. Four signals. Oh, boy. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where am I? I'm hungry. Breakfast, please. Pancakes. Waffles, yeah, man. No waffles. I need exploration kits. Total five. Yes. We have fuel. We're gonna be going all over the place, I'm so sure. Alright, here we go. An hour and 15 minutes. Alright, we'll go here. That's what I said, it's possibly abandoned. Lumen Orbit Cannon OSS Xiao G Resources. That's a gun? It's like a. It's like a unicorn. The background. There's an unidentified spaceship that has been trailing us for some time now. They just sent us a message. I'm putting it through. Are you really Red Chambers? Boy, have I been looking for you. You're the one who wiped out the Bones Brigade, right? I'm a new I'm a new guy over at the Daily Lumen and I'm right am writing an article about you. Could I come on board your ship and get a better understanding of the crew? I had no idea we've gotten this famous. It's actually very, very suspicious. Come on, it's it's ominous. It's too ominous. That's a big ship. Am I, am I not no saying guy? Because I do say no. But it's like, if you don't go through it, how do you know to avoid it? I did go through it. I hate the media. Ugh, the media. The hip... Yeah, that is hypocritical media. <laughs> Okay, let him come aboard and tell him what really happened. What's my gut telling me? This is good. This is a good video. You just like sitting here staring at these two choices just like me, you know, extravagant gameplay. Mm. This never ends well. Honestly, I have a very, very strong feeling you're going to take something and you're going to take all of it. If it happens, it happens. After we told him the whole story, he confessed that the Bones had helped him a great deal. Looks like you did Bones a big favor. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to do nothing to y'all. Hmm. Good relations? Yeah. With a melancholy, melan melancholy look on his face, he handed us a gift that was meant for bones, saying that we deserved it for what we did. Luminento. Hmm. Luminento. That is very disgusting to hear. I'm like, I have the feedback of whatever goes through my mic, and I can hear myself doing that. And I hate those noises because it hurts you guys' ear too. It's, it's off putting too. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to do that. Lumen Intel given to us by a runner who worshipped Bones. The Bones Brigade was pretty tough on the outsiders, but they were very respected among the peaks. Yeah, I respect them. He 
even after what happened, even though he shot K, he didn't person. Well, no, he didn't personally shot K, but it was like um, a wounding type to stop him from moving. And I don't even really know what happened. What would have happened if we didn't save Ada, and if we were actually st still stuck there because she was a witch and you know. Actually, then I think about it. I'm out of time. Yes, I'm out of time. I have many uploads to get up, especially one right now, because it's actually uploading right now, too. And yes, this is actually going to be the end of this part. I, <laughs> I don't even remember the number because I I try to keep track, but I always have to look back at my videos like, what number is this? What number is that? And yes. Thank you, Sandman, because I don't want to say it's a shout out, but I gotta say thank you, dude. I'm I'm really looking forward to this. I still am. Just really sorry for the late reply, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this, dude. Um, to answer your questions too, I really really do in, in my style too i really do feel like streaming is a little bit more of a better case for me because my style of like these videos are always an hour long and it feels like bonds to me and i gotta say maybe in the future i really do want to do it in the future though okay hope to see you in the next one everybody else too yeah take care guys I love this game. I love this game so much. Do you love this game? I do. I love this game so much. The story is so good. The characters are awesome. Oh.